what's up everyone and welcome to my channel in this video i'll show you how to create a digital product on your website on wix wix is a great platform that you can use to create your website it has lots of powerful tools and it is easy to use and you do not have to have any knowledge of coding so first of all let's go to the wix website that's wix.com and you will find this screen here you can log in if you already have an account on Wix or you can click here on get started or here to sign up to a new account or create a new account. So let's click on get started. You'll open this page. You can here sign up with your email and password or also you can sign up with your Google or Facebook account. I've already created an account on Wix so let's open it. Once you sign up with your email or Google or your method of choice you will open this page. This page has all my sites that I created on Wix and it's my it's basically my dashboard. So here I can find all my folders and my websites that I created, I previously created on Wix. And here you will find my profile options. So my email, my account settings and so on. So here we want to create a new website. So create a new site and you can also do so while editing your existing websites that you already created but for this video i will show you on a new site so let's create a new website let's continue with editor x or try wix studio it's up to you once you choose your editor it'll open a page with some templates that you can use and start editing to create your website so let's choose one that we like let's for example choose this one okay you can click on view to open the template in a new tab and view it in real time as if you were a visitor to the website and you can click on edit here to start editing it right away so that's what we are going to do i'll click on edit here okay now the editor is loaded up and you can see here the template that we chose is loaded as well you can add many elements i'll show you in a second and you can view how your website will look like or your template is looking like on a desktop view also on a tablet and on a smartphone or mobile view and you can edit the size of the phone view to match different screen sizes or resolutions so all the changes that you make in one view are automatically updated on all the websites view so let's go back to the desktop view to start editing we can click here on the plus icon to add many elements. Okay, you can add like titles, paragraphs, buttons, you can add images, videos, you can add containers, you can add URLs, and so on. You can also add assets and you can add many types of components. So let's choose, for example, text. You have many types of text, so like headings, many styles of headings. For titles, you have many types or styles of titles that you can also further edit. You have like collapsible text, you have text masks and so on. Okay, so let's for example add this one, I like it. So we'll just click on it. And it will be added to our template. So it's added here in the middle. We can, we can click on it, we can change the position. So let's move it here for example and we can edit the text also so let's click on it one more time and here we can click on change text it will load up a pop-up where we can change text so let's highlight it and say like how to simple that's the name of our youtube channel okay it's updated and we can also change like the alignment and the text size and the position and so on and you can do so with all the elements, so the text elements, so any text here I can change or change the images and so on. Now let's add our digital product. Here we will go to the store page, we can go to pages here on the site to go to the products page or the store. And here the template that we chose already has a product page, so we'll go to the product page here. And it loads up the product page on our template if your template or the template that you choose doesn't have a product page you can always go to add element here from the plus icon 
and then scroll down and add a store to your template. However, since my template already has a product page, so I don't need to add one, let's close it. And here you can see that we have many products here. If I close the inspector. Now let's go and hover over the like the product title and like click. Okay. And when I choose here the product, the products section is chosen. We can click on manage products here. It load up the dashboard of the products that are available on your website or template here. As you can see here, we have many products. However, they are all physical products like here are some like here are a pair of headphones, like a wireless headphones, a laptop and a mobile phone and so on. So they are all physical products. However, we want to add a digital product. You can go to any product here and edit it. So I can go to any product and like hide it or I can edit the product or duplicate or delete it. However, for this example, we want to add a new product. So we'll click here on new product. Here it'll give me the choice between physical or digital product. So digital products are like ebooks or printable art or like audio files and so on. So we'll click on a digital file. Now it'll go to the product settings page where we can enter the product title. So let's uh, name it like my ebook. For this example, I'll show you I'll be loading or I'll be uploading an ebook like a PDF file and show in online store and in point of sale. OK, now let's upload a file, the main file or the PDF that we will be selling on our website. Here it will give me the choice between like image, audio file, document or a zip file. So in this case, we'll choose a zip file. Here we can drag and drop our file or we can click on upload media. So I'll go to my desktop here where I have like a sample PDF file. So I'll just drag it here and then drop it to copy it to add it. It'll upload here as you can see. And once it's uploaded here, it'll show up in my digital files. So let's click on it and then click on let's close this one and then click on add to product. OK, now the ebook is uploaded. We can add some basic info like the name of the book. Let's leave it as my ebook. However, you can name it as you want. You can add a description. So let's say this is my first book. Hope you like it. Here you can add an image or a video, so like a cover image for your book or like a video like intro or ad for your book. And you can edit or you can add an info section and so on. And here you can add the price. So let's price it. So let's say a hundred. It detects that my location is in Egypt. So it automatically converts the currency to EGP. However, you can edit it to USD or any uh, currency that you want. Uh, and you add a like discount. So if you check on sale, so you can add a discount. So like a 20% discount, they'll make it 80 uh, EGP and so on. And you can go and edit the cost of goods. So and the profit, so the profit and the margin of profit will be updated automatically. And you can edit info. So like this item is in stock or out of stock or add the SKU or and so on. And once you add all the info for the ebook, just simply click on save. Once the product page loads up, you'll see here the ebook that I added here shows up in the products page of my website. So that's how easy it is to add a digital product on your website on Wix.com.